Hi, I'm attorney Gregory Dell, and I'm here today with attorney Stephen Jessup. And we are going to spend a few minutes talking to you about Unum disability claim denials. Now, in the last couple months, we seem to have seen an increase in the amount of disability insurance denials that have been coming out of Unum. Not exactly sure why it's happening, but we have a couple ideas as to why there has been an increase, and we think it has to do with um, basically like a change in management over there and possibly the fact that they were appeared to have been a little bit understaffed recently and have gotten some new claims examiners that have come on board and either there's some inexperience with some new claims examiners or they're just paying more attention to claims that they weren't able to do before because they didn't necessarily have the resources to do it. So when these claims come in on these, what we're going to talk about mostly is ERISA disability denials. I know that the claimant only has 180 days to do an appeal, but you and I have always said the most important thing to do first is to go ahead and get the claim file. And I mean, what are your thoughts about why it's so important to investigate that claim file before you actually go ahead and submit an appeal to UNUM? Well, I think the biggest thing would be is when you get the denial letter and you read through it, it tells you briefly you have the right to file the appeal. Uh, I don't know how many times you've talked to someone and they said, well, they just told me all I have to do is tell them I disagree and send in my new records and they'd look at everything. And I've heard people say, they say, oh, it'll be fine after that. Um, but a lot of times in the appeal, it's not necessarily just the additional information you're providing, um, but countering the arguments or the information or the process of the claims review done by the insurance company and only in reviewing the claim file do you have an understanding of what that internal review was, what may be missing, what are the holes that are, you know, can be filled and, and things along those lines. Right. I, I hate the situation where like Unum kind of, a Unum claims examiner will call sometimes on the phone first and say, we're going to deny your claim, but don't worry, you can appeal. And then the claimant goes ahead and says, writes a one-page letter, oh, I disagree, and maybe here's another medical record, and does it quickly, and doesn't take the time that they're given. And then they call us after the fact and say, we've been denied. And not that we can't help them at that stage, but the claimant's at a significant disadvantage then because we can't get anything new into their file because of the ERISA laws. And they've basically submitted an appeal that Unum, for the most part, 99 of 100 times is going to say, you really didn't give us anything new. We're sorry you disagree. We're not going to pay you. So I really want people who are watching this video and considering you know, filing an appeal and using our law firm to help them to understand how important it is to put together a, a strong appeal. So when you get the claim file from Unum, what's the, like, the number one thing you're looking for in that claim file before you're even going to begin to you know, articulate what documentation you want to provide in your appeal? Um, first and foremost, I'm looking for any vocational reviews done. Uh, any internal reviews, outside reviews by any of the medical staff or doctors that were hired. Um, the SOAP notes, which show the procedural steps that were taken along the way. Um, so a lot of times I'm trying to focus on that because then I get a bigger picture of what UNAM may be thinking is missing as part of the claim or what, they're, what they feel is not being supportive of enough. You know, sometimes, obviously, we've discussed before forms that are sent for doctors to fill out. Uh, a lot of the limita restrictions and limitations that may be provided to someone's doctors, it, the doctors say, well, it's reasonable a person can do this. Uh, you know, and they check off letters, boxes, things along those lines. So you're always trying to see what the strategy was leading up to the denial so you can effectively try to counter that uh, in submitting the appeal. The other thing I'm also always looking for in these claim files is any type of video surveillance that they may have done to the claimant because that's like a huge thing that Unum and a lot of other carriers like to use to deny a claim. I'm also often looking for have they done any internet or social media research on the claimant. You see a lot of that, a lot of that with Unum. You know, and, and also the field interview. You know, sometimes Unum will send a third party company or a claim rep out to their home to interview them. And then Unum will say, well, we looked at the video, we looked at the claim, um, you know, some stuff you have on the internet, and we also looked at a review of your medical records by our in-house doctor or some other doctor, and even though we haven't examined you, we think you're ready to go back to work 40 hours a week. So I really think that a claimant who's considering filing an appeal has to, you have to look at the total picture because that's exactly what Unum's doing, and you got to be prepared to fight back, but fight back in a manner where you're not telling them every single thing that they need to do. And that may seem confusing to someone who's watching this because they're saying, what do you mean don't tell them everything they need to do? And can you talk about why is it important to do an appeal strategically but not tell Unum every single thing that they have to do to get it right 
when they review the claim? Well, unfortunately, if, if you were to think of this as a sandwich, Unum gets the first bite, they deny. You file an appeal, Unum then has an opportunity to respond, and then some of the policies, you don't have an opportunity to try to counter that. Uh, so if you tell them everything that they did wrong, all they have to do in their appeal review is remedy those things, correct it, and then if they deny the claim and you find yourself in litigation, it's then hard to argue that the insurance company didn't act reasonable because everything you said they did wrong, they've now corrected. So it's really kind of a delicate, balance, delicate balancing act as to pointing out mistakes that were legal, uh, potentially legal argument later on, um, and trying to as effectively as possible you know, submit the claim to give you the best chance to be able to, to overturn the decision on appeal. Right, and I think this becomes a major issue when you have these unum disability policies that are issued in states that allow these discretionary clauses. And if the policy has a discretionary clause, that means that the judge has to defer to the insurance company and only determine if the insurance company abused their discretion and not necessarily whether or not they were wrong. So, you know, thankfully there's over 21 states that have abolished these discretionary clauses and that you know, discretionary clause wouldn't be an issue in those states where, where that will take effect. But if the discretionary clause is in there and you have to deal with an abuse of discretion standard, it makes it significantly harder to win a case at trial and also so much more important to put in a great appeal because you know, the, we have to get Unum in a position where even if they do deny the claim, we still have to be able to say, well, they denied it, but they acted unreasonably and judge, this is why you have to reverse. So I know whenever I'm doing an appeal, I'm always thinking of the end result that maybe this is going to go to trial and how am I going to be able to prove that Unum didn't act reasonably. So if you have a claim with Unum that's been denied or you're worried that your claim is going to be denied, feel free to give us a call. We always offer a free consultation and we're available at any time to discuss your Unum disability denial with you.